Okay guys, thank you for joining us today. I'm Danny Adams here with Tier Blue and today we're at Kettleston Park. It's an open qualifier course in Derbyshire. And today we're going to look at different areas of the game and try to improve your technique to lower your scores. We're also going to have a little look at the course, like, let you guys have a chance to see what the course conditions are like. Hopefully you come and play the course yourself. I'm sure this video is going to help you. Okay guys, we're on the fourth hole at Kettleston Park and now I'm going to give you a drill on how to improve your chipping ability. And when it comes to chipping, there's two things that you need to improve to become a great chipper. First of all, you need to be able to pick a spot on the green and land your ball on that spot. That's the first piece of the pie. Secondly, you've got to control the roll, how much it rolls out past the flag or beyond it. Um, but the first piece of the pie is there's no point picking a spot on the ground and then landing it two foot past or two foot short or two foot to the right because that's going to influence then, then the roll. So the first piece of the pie is to improve your ability to pick a spot on the ground and land your ball on it. Okay, so I want you to take your preferred chipping club, and I don't know if you'll notice, but there's a bunch of scattered tea pegs on the green. Now you can change the color if you'd like, red ones, blue, green, gold, pink. And what I'd like you to do is to take one ball, pick one tea peg, and your goal is to try and land the golf ball on top of the tea peg. We're not too concerned where it rolls out or where it finishes, the only goal is to pick a spot, which is a tee peg, try and land your ball on top of the tee peg. So I've got my 60 degree, I'm going to pick out a spot, or pick out a tee peg, I'm going to try and land my ball as closely as I can. And what you'll find is there's a pattern for you in particular. In general, most golfers tend to land their ball too short of the tee peg. And then they come to me and say, oh, my chip shots always come short of the flag. Well, maybe that's because you're landing the ball two foot short of your landing spot. That's going to influence how much it rolls out. Simple. So, if in this instance you are one of those golfers who falls into that category where the ball lands short of the tee peg, I want you now in your mind to picture landing the ball just over the top of the tee peg you pick. And you'll see how that instinctively influences how fast you move your arms, how hard you hit the ball. And we're trying to bridge the gap between what is reality and what's your perception of what you need. The best golfers in the world have a greater um, perception of what is reality. They have greater awareness of the club face control, greater awareness of how fast to move their arms. The poorer golfer doesn't quite have the skill set developed yet where they have that bridge tighter. So again, pick out a random tee on the ground. Try and land your ball on a tee peg. You'll notice got, you've got your own characteristics. So that's with a 60 degree. How do you think, if I was to take an eight iron, do you think the feeling would be different if I was to pick the same tee peg and now I'm gonna use my eight iron? Do you think the sensations would be different? Clearly with an eight iron, the ball's gonna launch a lot lower, a lot quicker than when I use the 60 degree. So the sensations again are gonna be different. So you have to change if you want to use all your clubs around the green, you need to have the ability to adapt, to pick a spot on the ground, adjust the desired feelings, to land the ball on the spot, it's as simple as that. Obviously you can look at your own individual technique, obviously this video can't um, prescribe changes for everybody's technique, but this can improve everybody's ability to pick a spot on the ground, land it on that spot and control the rollout. Remember that's the first piece of the pie of becoming a great chipper. So again, Place some tee pegs on the green, multiple places, not too far, you know, you're not really going to chip the ball more than seven yards onto the green in general. So between one yard and seven yards, scatter tee pegs, change the tee peg every time. You might go for the red one, the blue, the green, the pink, the silver, the white one, and change it because that's how it is on the golf course. You get one chance, one spot, one go, one attempt. That's how I'd like to see you practice. So I'm sure this drill is going to help you guys improve your chipping ability. Okay guys, thank you for joining us this week. The video has been filmed at Kettleston Park. If you really like the layout of the course, come and play yourself. It's a cracking course. So again, if, you, if you've enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe, pass it on to your friends. Any questions, leave them in the comments section below and we'll see you next week.